Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are standing here at the edges of the Great Jungle after having just explored its boundaries and been struck by wonder and awe at every turn. And also many, many, many eggs of birds that I do not yet have in our wonderful zoo and uh, quite a few plants. So many plants, tar drops, things I've never seen before, places I've never been. It has been an amazing adventure. But it is indeed time to go ahead and go home, Sunflower. So I was just having a little bit of our spring onion of the, the spring onion friendship soup. Uh, from our Stardew Valley series, of course, wonderful recipe that we have, infused with tarragon, and telling Sunflower my thoughts for, oh, look at that tarragon, help me out with that regeneration, nice, I love how Pavo made that mod with the um, herbs, we were just like talking about it one day years ago, and he was like, I can do that, and boom, he did it, it was amazing, uh, anyway, I was just talking with Sunflower, about how we are going to get home from this grand expedition. And home is not very far away, actually. It's just a few biomes hop away. So I had no idea I lived next to such a giant jungle. Uh, or so many sacred spring saplings, actually. We might want to make like some hot springs in the sacred springs. That would be really fun. But we are going to go ahead and choose. Are you guys ready for this? <clears throat> The route that is most exciting. Uh, not egg sighting. I think I'm pretty done with collecting from the eggs for now. I do want to go ahead. There is that little patch right here. I'm sorry, Sunflower. I know I said so. no more eggs. Oh my gosh, Sunflower. I love you, but your feathers sometimes. But there's just like two eggs right here, Sunflower. Oh, she's like, I don't want to fly over here. What are you doing? Oh, little pea fell egg. Oh, okay, Sunflower, I'm done now. But we're gonna go ahead and fly home so that we can get Lily and Tate out of the safari nets that they are shoved into and so that we can go ahead and hatch these toucan eggs and get the toucan population up and going in our zoo, which is fantastic. And we can get back on track with helping out Tata's garden, working on the Garden of Babylon, which I have gotten so much inspiration from being in this jungle from, and that snow leopard who needs a home. Holy cow, it has been uh, quite the adventure, but it's not over yet. And so I was telling Sunflower that I think the best way to go home is the most adventurous, because that is definitely what my heart is calling out for. So we're gonna do that by ping-ponging down by biomes that interest us, maybe swinging a little bit to the west and then coming up and around so that we can swing over our giraffe exhibit and land with a flourish in our yard in Zudesia. Oh, man, the Village of Light doesn't even look that big anymore after where we've been. And it, let alone like working on the whole Hope Leaf Village I want to have. I thought that the Cloud Kingdom's Cloud Kingdom was huge. And now I know the Great Jungle really was a humbling lesson for me in how big our world can be. But we're going to actually ping pong by the most interesting biomes, kind of go to the west and then work our way down, fly over the giraffes and go home, like I just said. But I decided that because there's an origin biome. Do you see that emerald greenery? I haven't seen it just yet, but it showed up. Oh, there it is. You guys, you guys, an origin biome. Oh my gosh. I didn't know this was here. I didn't know this was here. I didn't know this was here. You're so beautiful. Oh boy. I have a vague bit of deja vu. I may have been here before, but I don't remember. And origin biomes are so green. They are so amazing. They are said to hold some of the history and the mystery of the original Minecraftian realm. Wow. They're also very devoid of life as a result, which I think is interesting because it's clearly full of plants. But... <gasps> A double appetite tree and it's got an ostrich but this ostrich looks like it kind of wandered in versus like started here and so origin biomes are supposed to kind of reflect uh, uh the history of minecraft the early days when trees and grass may have been much more neon than they are now uh, so i think origin biomes should be important but i'm not sure why 
And that's why we started ping-ponging, because I want to go ahead and kind of explore biome by biome. And if a biome catches our eye, we'll go ahead and explore it a little bit on our way home. This is our world, after all, and I really just want to be taken in by the beauty, the baby goats, the beautiful birds. Uh, wow. Just all of the little discoveries we find. There's a baby raccoon over there. Here's some of the very special, like, these These are hard to find. Oh, these flowers, they're kind of hard to find, and I feel like they might grow very well in the origin biome if I can get, like, an NPC here, uh, a botanist NPC to come and, like, study the area. There's an int guarding this big giant forest over here. Look at this biome. Yeah, it really doesn't have any life in it. I wonder when the first mobs were added into Minecraft. Those are the kinds of questions that these biomes are meant to make you ponder. Maybe this is even like a nice little cave that you can come and kind of like wash your thoughts of uh, the latest versions of Minecraft. Reflect upon the life that once was and appreciate the life you have now. Uh, but yeah, we could do all sorts of fun things with this biome. I know, right, Sunflower? I think maybe it'd be kind of a great biome to do like sort of a back to basics thing. Make sure that there's like resources to really gather up a whole bunch of the vanilla items. Researchers who study them. Because the vanilla flowers struggle in a realm full of plant mega pack flowers. So it might be nice to have like dedicated area for them. Or just dedicated area for these leaves. Holy cow, I would love to decorate with something so vibrantly green in some of my exhibits. All right, so that was a really cool exhibit, Sunflower. And now if we're going to... And we're not going to collect much, so we should actually probably get home very soon. But I wonder if we should just go to the west then. There's a fungi forest, and you guys know how much I love fungi forest. I kind of want to take a peek at like this area. Wherever my big ocean used to be is now gone. So I think the closest ocean is actually the one that is down ironically where there used to be no ocean uh it's down by where i want to build like our farming village so yeah we'll just we'll just go to the west and then we'll start drifting north oh so pretty i love all the colors of the leaves oh look at this little like ox eye patch it even has a cute little poodle oh and momiji's again Gosh, I think I'm okay without getting them, but maybe we could like offer them uh, like a spaceship home because they're little space aliens. So maybe it'd be cool to build kind of like an observatory and like a spaceship and we could give them like a way to get home. And in exchange, they might give us some rare resources that they could get from space. And maybe we could even do a realm trying to do galactic craft in some way. But I would only want to do that if I could colonize the moon with plants. You guys know me. All right, butterflies. Oh, that's pretty. Let's come and look at this one. Where are we now, sunflower? What kind of, what kind of, this is just a rainforest rainforest, eh? Is this the rainforest really close to home? Yes, it is. <laughs> we are drifting straight back home very quickly. I want to do a teeny bit more exploring than that. Not much more. I can't believe the giant jungle was so much closer to home than I originally thought. Did I add that peafowl into this forest on the great peafowl hatching day? There's a very high likelihood that could have happened. Uh, th in fact, this is literally the peafowl hatching spot. <laughs> yes, this is where we hatched all these peafowl all that time ago and didn't get a single one who happens to be albino. Wow. Wow. Well, at least we definitely added to the peafowl population of this jungle. Oh, I remember that. It's one of the most popular days that people like to quote in our, um, our Patreon Discord, too. Did I leave my bed behind? I left my bed behind. That bed has been with me for years. <laughs> I can't believe I left my little bed behind. I've been carrying that carpenter's bed with me for like two years. I'll find it again one day. All right, we're flying by night, guys. A lot of this seems kind of familiar because we're getting closer and closer to home. Look at this little oasis. Oh, and the big desert. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, let's see. Where are we now? Yeah, I think 
we'll go ahead and I think this is the huge desert that actually loops around to my giraffe. So yeah, we'll be home by the end of the day for sure. Yeah, this is that village I found that I was so immensely curious about. It looks like it's just got witches and zombies in it right now, unfortunately. Any beds I could maybe borrow? Yeah, we probably don't want to sleep here. You're right, Sunflower. <gasps> Rhinoceros! Yes! We will have to be back into this. I think this is called like a Zertic biome. There's a lot of Rhinoceros here, actually, so it's very good to see that they're doing well. All right, let's try. Nope, that's a creeper. That's a creeper over there, too. Maybe we can land in the Zertic biome for just a second. Oh, there's vultures everywhere! Huzzah! And a beagle! Oh my goodness, okay. Yes, oh, yes! There's, oh, there's a graveyard over here. No wonder everybody is so busy. We might have to like get rid of that graveyard so that I can make this into a big savanna that we can release a whole bunch of safari animals one day. Uh, not the Zertic biome. But yeah, the graveyards are those things over there. They're not the best to deal with. We might have to like throw some TNT on them to get rid of the zombies in mass. Which I know is not something that you guys probably ever thought I would say, but... Man, look at all those guys. Alright, well we don't need to pick fights right now. Maybe one day the Sword of Light will be called to try to make the most of this, but for now it looks like the cactuses are doing the work. Aw oh, man, another one of those graveyards. Yeah, these graveyards are bad news bears. We don't really want to have anything to do with them. And they can actually cause some issues. So eventually we will want to try to like completely eradicate them or just avoid them. All right, where are we now, Sunflower? Safely in a tree? That really is not the best having two of those so close. So we might have to find ways to completely destroy them. You may actually see me use TNT. We might actually get Martha's beloved creeper uh, to help us out with that, to be honest. Uh, all right, we'll go a little bit more to the south and then veer sharply, because if we turn sharply to the east now we would actually fly over my beloved giraffe okay so i'm gonna go to the west just until i can see what is here out of curiosity what is this biome called savannah plateau this is kind of like the area that this is what i want it to look like when we release our beautiful like mm, giraffes and rhinos and everybody else. Oh, and it just comes into this, like the elephants. I want to make a beautiful safari. Yeah. Yeah, this is a very familiar place, actually. I feel like we've definitely been here on a plant collecting expedition or two. All right, time to go ahead and swing home. You guys ready? Gosh, it's been so long. And when I lost my map, oh, look at you. What are you doing here, big old water blocks? Oh, that makes such an interesting way to look down, though. Like, look at that, guys. Careful there, sunflower. Oh, that's so cool, sunflower. You can just, like, stare down into the different slices of the biomes. All right, careful, careful. I know you're getting a little tired, but we're going to be home before the end of the night. I just, oh, there's a werewolf. This is why our home is great. It is much safer than this, isn't it, darling? But I do love this savanna area. It just reminds me so much of what I want to offer my giraffes, what I want to offer all of my animals. Um, yeah, we need to turn this way a little bit. The bamboo forest, lovely. Oh, it's been so long since we've seen all of this. Oh, this, I think, is the little bamboo forest that we hope to release the red pandas into in the future. I remember exploring this place. It's a very lovely biome to be in. Very, very lovely. And we might, we might breed up and release our little red pandas in the future. What are these? These were not here last time. This was not part of the land whatsoever. I remember this biome. I remember this bamboo forest. I would have known if I had giant mushrooms by my house. <laughs> what? 
Sunflower! Sunflower! Sunflower, watch out! There's a dude! There's a rude dude! He doesn't see us yet! Okay, I took care of him. <gasps> what? I would have noticed if um I had a fungi forest <laughs> like this near my house. <laughs> this is new. This is new. This is like right next to our giraffes. What even is this? What is this? There's somebody named Amethyst here? What is this? This is amazing! Amethyst! You you teleport me here! Oh my gosh! What is happening? I have no idea. And then there's just like a little line of gravel over here. This is amazing and utterly befuddling and I love it. It's very close to my house. It's also like stunning. My jaw is just like on the ground. This is one of the most amazing things I've ever found. I love it. Sunflower. I, I don't even, I don't even, somebody clearly found this. I don't even, I don't even, I don't even want to leave it. I don't even want to leave it, but I know we need to like work our way back home. Let's land for a second so I can figure out what direction that is. But what? Okay, that's amazing. Um, now I need to kind of go back to the west and to the north a little bit to get back to my beloved giraffes. But we are this this was this was clearly a good idea. <laughs> Look, this is where I used to do a little bit of the expedition, like the the clearing. This is very close to my house. Like, what? How did I not know? How? That is new. That has not been there before. That is there since the, the, the Builders of Light helped me to repair my world. And now here we are, my friends, in familiar territory. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, everyone. You should be... There you are. No longer Steve's. And here we land. The guests are calling out their love of animals. The giraffes are wandering around their exhibit. The uh, birds in the trees are giving me dead leaf piles that they have been playing with. And that was amazing. So, all right, guys, that was like the shock of a century for sure. Um, I'm sort of in love with all of this. I'm so happy to see my giraffes again. Do you guys want some apples? That's what I thought, Lori. That's what I thought. Lori, do you want to come over and hang out with Caramel? Where are all my giraffes? I think some of them have been like getting out or aging out or something. They're both feeling romantic, but go, go baby giraffe to celebrate. <gasps> baby giraffe. Hello, little fluffy ossicone one. I love you. You're already taller than I am. Oh, okay. That's amazing, guys. That was so amazing. I, I I have never seen that before. I have no idea why it's there, where it's come from, but I love it. And we're also home. And this feels right too. After having seen just how big and beautiful and amazing our world is, I feel even more attached to our little corner of it. Our beautiful little zoo, all of its silliness, all of the, the rambunctiousness we get up to. And I am ready to take good care of it. So. Thank you guys so much for joining me on that gigantic expedition. It turned out to have more to offer us because our world has so much history, because we absolutely love just this place and all of the little discoveries. Look at the great jungle and everything it had to offer. The graveyards that we might actually have to drop TNT on to get rid of over by, <laughs> over by this area. Oh my gosh, the giant fungi forest. This was amazing. And now we're home and ready for even more adventure. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Sunflower. She did an amazing job hauling us all across the world. And if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, you guys know what to do. And then, of course, the most important thing, stay curious. Bye, guys.